Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to share with you how to lock down your WordPress uh, environment when you are doing development. Uh, so if you have a brand new site that you're developing and you want to develop it on the actual domain name or another domain name and you want it to be on an, a web server and you don't want people to have access to it, I'm going to share with you a, a simple and easy approach of how to lock down that environment. And so I'll be using, I have a local um, host here, or rather a local environment of WordPress installed, and that's what we'll be using today. So if you go ahead and go to plugins, plugins will load, let's go to add new. And when you get here, we are going to search for a plugin called Hide. I believe it's called Hide My Site. Yes, and here it is Hide My Site. So go ahead and install it. Once it successfully installs, go ahead and click Activate. And once it's activated, you can go over to the settings and it'll be listed in the settings menu. So go to hide my site. And then when you get here, uh, you can have, you can actually pay for the premium service. I don't, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's as low as $20, but obviously the add-ins, the more you keep adding on, um, the more expensive it gets. Uh, just for the sake of locking out an account, though, or locking out a site from the public, you know, this simple plugin will will uh, will do the trick for you. You don't have to purchase the premium license key. You can if you want. Basically, you enable password protection. So make sure that this box is checked to enable site-wide password protection. You want to set your uh, your password, and definitely don't set it to something like password one, be a little bit more uh, diligent and prudent in terms of how you uh, derive your password. You may want to put a hint in there. I oftentimes don't. Um, I typically will use a password and I may write it down uh, and, you know, keep it, I guess you'd say offline and not online. But nevertheless, write that password down and then the number of duration. So do you, so for how many days do you want users to stay logged in? Um, you know, I basically would say, Hey, you know, force everybody to log in. Or, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're the one developing the site and I, you know, you may want to set it to something like seven days so that at, at the end of every week, then, you know, you have to log back in. It's just up to you. Uh, I typically keep this um, box checked so that Bruce Ford attack, Bruce Ford, Bruce for brute force attacks. Ooh, say that fast five times. Brute force attacks uh, won't happen. So people who are trying to get in to to see all of what you're doing with your new development, um, you know, they'll be blocked. Also, you may want to put a notification message here. I I typically just uh, choose. You know, if you're under development, you can just go ahead and choose that first one. And then, other than that, uh, check this box to grant access. If the user is logged in as admin, you can go ahead and select that. And then um, if you want to make your RSS feeds public, I don't suggest checking this box um, just because it'll, you know, people will be able to gain access to what you're doing. So if you're writing blog posts and all that stuff, I, I keep this box unchecked. Other than that, um, they do have premium themes that you can apply. But again, they're premium. You need to pay for those. And uh, so I basically... You know, I, I don't use that, that feature, but you're more than welcome. Once you get there, just press save. And so now we're there. Now I'm going to pull up another browser that has this local site to it. So there's what the site looks like. Now, when I refresh, what we should see happen is we should see that I'm locked out. and we are locked out and so no matter what i do i could try to go you know and think of this local host as your domain name um, even if you were to try to go to this site you're now locked out 
from the public and you would have the public would have to have the password to get in now if they have the password to get in they can simply enter the password to get in and they can then see the site and you would also be able uh, once you place in that password you would still be able to uh, get in to the WP admin and so this plugin hide my site is uh, one that I tend to use when developing websites uh, for clients that you know or, or clients that are about to launch a new business who don't have a website up and then you know they want to go ahead and build the site on that domain but keep it um, private until they're ready for launch I tend to use this plugin I also use this plugin as I'm developing um, you know existing customer sites on like throwaway domains so a throwaway domain like maybe something like the company's initial dot info or just dot another address so not their main dot com address um, so nevertheless yes that's that's a plugin that I use I like using it um, I find it to be beneficial and just easy uh, to use in terms of locking out WordPress websites. So let me know if you have any questions, any comments, please leave those below the video there. Please subscribe to Kickstart Commerce's YouTube channel. And last but not least, visit kickstartcommerce.com where I share with you search marketing and domain investing ideas to grow your business. Feel free to also subscribe to my weekly or daily newsletter that I send uh, that I send out so that you can stay abreast of, of new things uh, such as when I release new tutorial videos or when I release new content um, that is based on search marketing and domain investing strategies. So that's all for now. We'll see you around.